Hi, we're going to be doing um, a tessellation in the style of Escher. Uh, supplies I'm using are just pen or a drawing implement of some type. Pencil works fine. Uh, you'll need some tape. I'm using a post-it, but graph paper, any other type of paper that, as long as it's square, um, should work fine. And scissors, and of course, paper to draw on afterwards. So we're just going to move what we're not using off to the side. Personally, I find that uh, when working in a square, uh, since I'm going to be cutting on each side, uh, that I'm going to mark it ahead of time with creases so I just don't lose track when I start losing the edges. Um, when I move it, I'm going to be taking things from the bottom and moving them to, to, to the top. I will not be doing any rotations in this one. So things on the uh, right side move to the left and vice versa. So just give myself some guides. I'm using uh, as orientation the sticky side of the notepad or of the, the sticky note just so I can always remember which side's up. And then I'm also going to be uh, drawing on the sticky note itself just because I find that a little bit easier for planning. There's no right way to do this. Uh, I'm trying to make mine look either like a llama or a horse. We'll see how well that goes. So we have the crease here, goes to here. So we're also using the corner edge here as a orientation line. So since the goal is trying to get it kind of horse shaped, so I'm going past that. I'm going to use that as a marking point where it needs to line up. So that's going to be like the ear part of the neck. So we're going to do the back of the neck. Down. And here we're going to make the tail and the tail is also then going to lead face and so we're gonna have a little bit of flat and then it's gonna go up so it's probably gonna look more like a llama so we'll do a little bit of a more of a llama type tail a little fun stick out bit I'm gonna have its leg going up so leg to there this is gonna be its hoof so we need to make sure it comes down there or maybe let's have two hoofs I said this is the stencil, so any mess ups on the design, that's fine. The details are mostly going to be saved for the actual page. And I can either make this easy on myself by then keeping this space open, so I might do that. That way I only have to cut this whole edge out together and then that will move down. So let's start with the leg then. So we're gonna cut this out. That way we can line it up against that part. Sorry, I got a little off the center of the video. This will be one of the feet. Remember, I'm using that stickiness to keep track of where I am. So that'll go there. Now we're going to use some of the tape. You don't need much, just so we can Keep track of where everything is. Because we're so close to this edge, we're going to cut the face out. And you don't need to have a plan when you do this. It does take some practice to start planning out the shapes. And of course, you can always 
Adjust on the fly. You just have to remember when test loading that if it's at the bottom and you're just doing a direct across tessellation that it's going to go to the top. And mine's not exact. That should have been right at the edge. But it's going to be fine. Oh, I wish I hadn't cut so far. Could have made an adjustment here. So make an adjustment on the fly. Tail's gonna look a little silly. What? That's the fun thing with tessellations. It can look a little different. Stick on. At this point, it might be easier to just do it this way. It's okay if it's not fully perfect. This is just our stencil. <laughs> so the head's a little funny, but. We want to plan how this is going to look. You can be like, here's where his eye's gonna be. A little silly llama ear, nose. And then we've got the two feet. And because this one's a little silly, we have it. So he's got his butt kicking up behind him. Mama toes would be like fur. <laughs> and silly, silly flag of a llama tail. And then these are all just like the details that will be included on the drawing itself. So for the drawing, I said we're using this as a stencil. Well, I'm going to put it at the full bottom, but you can place it where you like. I'm just going to stencil draw. You got to make sure it actually sticks right to the edge of your new stencil. Otherwise, the shape's going to distort as you move it around. We know that foot goes there. See how everything starts to line up. Taking advantage of the stickiness of the post-it to hold it a little in place. We already have that there. I'm already starting to get the muzzle for the next one. Clean it up a little. So now we have the whole front line. Let's see how it lines up. Whole 
point of it is that you should have a repeating pattern as you baste everything and a square. And of course you can do these with not squares, but the easiest is to start with a square. Okay, we've started, started getting our tessellation going. And the more you get in, the more you make, the more sides it slowly takes on, the quicker you can keep tessellating. And just make sure you're not pulling when you're using your stencil. Almost fits like a very awkward puzzle piece. You know, you can draw the eyes in. You can always adjust on your final image. Ideally, we want them all to look the same on the interior's details. Hair. Yeah, and that's how we tessellate.